Will Canada permit killer whale extinction? The 2022 UN Biodiversity Conference, COP15, culminated in a landmark agreement to halt biodiversity loss, increasing pressure on government to confront the conflict between mandates to protect species and pressure to protect economies. Canada's commitment to ecological priorities has been put to the test by the $3.5 billion Roberts Bank port expansion in British Columbia's Fraser River estuary. Yet Canada cannot ignore its biodiversity commitments to pursue growth at the expense of ecosystems. The Canadian government approved the port expansion in April, despite its own conclusions that the effects, which would include destroying wildlife habitat protected by the Species at Risk Act, would be substantial and irreversible. If the project proceeds, more than 100 at-risk species that are already grappling with climate change and habitat loss will face additional habitat destruction, as well as pollution and noise caused by increasing shipping traffic. Further destruction of the Fraser River estuary, one of the most important salmon-bearing ecosystems on the continent, will inevitably have cascading consequences for wildlife, food webs, and people. The project will occur within the legally protected critical habitat of the endangered southern resident killer whale. This cetacean relies on the port's busy transboundary area to feed and to raise its offspring, activities that require individuals to hear and be heard. Both American and Canadian recovery plans for the species identify the need for quieter waters, reduced contaminant inputs, and increased access to the whale's primary prey. Chinook salmon. Despite some threat reduction efforts, this whale is at high risk of extinction under current, let alone worse, conditions. Although the plans have been conditionally approved, construction cannot begin until a permit is issued that allows the destruction of critical habitat under the Species at Risk Act. If granted, Canada would betray commitments made at COP15 and demonstrate to the world that the country is incapable of finding ways to balance economic prosperity with biodiversity protection. Until governments can match words with action, the unraveling of species and ecosystems will continue.